Good morning, and welcome to my final day of broadcasting from the United Kingdom. I'm very sad to be leaving. I won't be leaving for good, as many of you know. I will be relocating to Britain um, sometime in September, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, but in the meantime, it was important that I gained as much information as I could about what happened in Cornwall, and also, very importantly, what the British people had to think about the whole thing. And I got an opportunity to do that right here in London. And I thought the best place to go to get an impression of what people were thinking was the University of London. And to be quite honest, I expected the young people there to tell me that it was the wrong time for Britain to be spending money on spaceflight, that given the current economic conditions, that Britain should really be investing their money elsewhere, especially after the failure that took place in Cornwall, and uh, that is the response for the most part that I got. Oh, and also, before I forget, I need to give another shout-out to Joel Ryder Media. This is the fourth time that Joel has acted as my cameraman, and to anybody who needs any media work done for corporate promotional events or for weddings or anything else that you might think of, for the most part, he does handle corporate-related media relations kind of material tell you, this guy is second to none. I've certainly worked with a lot of other folks who do uh, their job equally well, but still, uh, Joel does a an absolutely fantastic job, really professional, and the best quality, so give him a call, damn it. So, given the fact that the majority of my viewers are 45 years of age or older, a lot of you are probably thinking, eh, damn millennials, damn Gen Zers, or whatever. Of course, they don't have an enthusiasm about anything. They just, you know, have no perspective, no vision, really all of the excitement, all of the enthusiasm of the Apollo generation is dead or will die with my generation. But you know what? I had an interesting twist waiting for me at the end of the day. All right. Um, first of all, did you hear about the uh, space launch attempt in Cornwall on the news? I heard of it, yeah, very briefly. Okay, well, to give you a quick rundown, about 10 million pounds were spent and it was a failure. So, uh, you know, arguably that was money spent and no real benefit gained. But at the same time, SpaceX, back in my country, had three straight failures before they became one of the most profitable companies on the planet. So I guess my question to you is, do you think it's worth it for Britain to invest in a second go? I think before we invest in space travel, it's good to sort out the problems we have here. For example, poverty, the cost of living crisis. It appears to be maybe a little bit of a waste of money to put all of this into space travel when we've got so many issues here at the moment. So this is the wrong time. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. All right. Thanks very much. I appreciate you your time. Have a great care, day. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Did you hear about the space launch attempt from Cornwall? Did you see that on the news? I did. I heard about it, yes. Um, actually, I, do, I study astrophysics myself. So, um, yeah, I, I heard about that, unfortunately, yes. Yeah. So, as, as, you, as I see you can tell, it was a failure. So, you know, millions spent on essentially no benefit thus far anyway. At the same time, SpaceX had three failures before they became an incredibly successful company. So, in your opinion, should Britain invest in a second go? I think they should. I mean, yeah, I believe in this country, we, I think it would be a good investment, um, especially given like, the kind of brains we have, I believe it should be given a go. Yeah, especially as, yeah, as say in America, SpaceX are having these chances and stuff. I would I'd say it's a good investment. Yeah. I appreciate uh, your response. Thanks so much. No have a great day. That was, by the way, my second interview, and I started to feel or hope that perhaps opinion might be divided more or less down the middle with the students of London, but I was dead wrong. Either they didn't have an opinion like this fellow who really wasn't comfortable saying anything simply because he didn't know enough about the topic, or they flat out opposed it. That one fellow that I just talked to, who was studying astrophysics, by the way, was the only young person who believed that Britain should be investing further in spaceflight. 
First of all, just real quick, did you hear about the uh, launch attempt from Cornwall last week? I did, but I heard that it didn't reach orbit, is that correct? That's correct. You know a lot more than a lot of people do, <laughs> to be honest. So that being the case, about 10 million pounds were invested in that, obviously for no return. At the same time, SpaceX had three straight failures before they became very profitable. So that being the case, should the UK invest in giving it another go or not? Well, I think uh, the country should have different priorities at the moment. Um, obviously, space exploration is uh, important, but at this very moment in time, I think the government should have different priorities, certainly, especially in dealing with things such as the cost of living crisis and other pressing matters. But, yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's my final answer. Did you hear about the uh, space launch attempt from Cornwall last week on the news? Uh, I did. However, it was a very, very brief sort of thing that I heard, yeah. It wasn't well covered, I would say, yeah. Right. I, hear about it, yeah. I was there covering it myself, actually, but um, about the, the, the long and the short of it is about 10 million pounds were spent and it failed. Um, so 10 million pounds invested with not much return. Um, so that being, but at the same time in my country, in the US, SpaceX had three straight failures before they became one of the most profitable companies in the world. That being the case, do you think Britain should invest in a second go? Uh, off that, not particularly. I think there are more pressing issues than sort of space flight at this moment, especially when places like uh, countries like America do it much better than us. That's not to discredit us completely. I just think we are so far behind in that field that and we need to sort of level up in other fields that it's just not worth it, in my opinion. First question, this is the easy one. Um, did you hear about the space flight launch attempt from Cornwall last week on the news? Yeah, yeah. No, I just read... A headline about it. Okay, great. So, that, I mean, the long and the short of it is it failed, and so about 10 million pounds were invested with no real return. Um, however, on the other side of it, back in my country in the US, SpaceX had that happen to them three times before they became one of the most profitable companies in the world. That being the case, should Britain invest in a second go? The UK government, you mean? Mm, I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe yes, maybe no. If yeah. you knew more, is, is yeah. that kind of what you're saying? Maybe, you maybe, or well, maybe it should be privately funded by a company that would profit off of it. I don't know. So no public involve in investment is is what you're saying. Is that correct? Yeah, that pr probably my opinion. Okay, and yours? I think that's quite feasible, actually. Yeah, no public investment, but private investment. Okay. But just as I was about to give up on the next generation of engineers, scientists, and most importantly, policymakers, this young couple threw me an interesting curveball. But we'll get to that a little bit later. What did the older generation have to say about the whole thing? Well, the difference was striking. So you already answered the first question. Did you hear about what happened? Yes, we did, yes. <laughs> yeah. An absolute disaster. It was indeed. So about 10 million pounds invested with no real return. On the other side of things, in my country, SpaceX had three similar failures before they became one of the most profitable enterprises on the planet. So the question is, should the UK invest in a second go? Well, is it the UK? It's Virgin, isn't it, who's investing? Well, it's kind of. Spaceport Cornwall is also part of it. Spaceport Cornwall is a UK investment and they also integrate the payloads. They install the satellites. And by the way, Spaceport Cornwall did their job 100% yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. So everything was done right on the UK side of the of the partnership. But in order to do it again, they will need to in, they'll will need to be further investment. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think they should do, go ahead. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah. And how do you feel? I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> You're not saying? No. That's okay. I don't, I don't know. Don't know about the, the money. Money-wise, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, one failure. They've got to do it again because they've, they've, lost, uh, they've lost everything if they don't do it again. But, but they, could, they could turn a profit, couldn't they? And this, of course, was an astute observation. If the UK gives up on space flight now, then the money that's been invested has definitely been wasted. But how did other people from my generation feel? Real quick, first of all, on the news, did you hear what happened in Cornwall last week with the space launch attempt? I did hear briefly about it, that it wasn't very successful. 
correct? Yeah, the long and the short of it is about 10 million pounds invested with no real return. However, back in my country, in the U.S., SpaceX did that three times before they became one of the most profitable companies on the planet and also a big benefit to the government and to the taxpayers in the U.S. That being the case, do you think the U.K. should invest in another go? If it's 10 million, you say, well, that's nothing nowadays. So, yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> So obviously this is not a scientific poll, but at the same time, it was illuminating. Does this actually mean that only the generation that remembers Apollo or whose parents remember Apollo really have the enthusiasm and the will to commit to spaceflight and indeed to understand why it's beneficial? Or is it more complicated than that? Well, like I said before, the last young people that I had an opportunity to interview threw me a bit of a curveball. They asked me what I thought about the whole situation, and I responded saying that if there had been no public investment in spaceflight in the United States, then we wouldn't have had a space program at all. That spaceflight requires at least some public investment at first before it can become a self-sustaining industry. Once they knew about that, once they knew that Spaceport Cornwall represented both a private investment and a public investment with the objective of eventually becoming self-sustaining, they changed their answer. They said that they would support public investment. And at that moment, I came to realize that the whole day was not an exercise in the difference between the younger and older generations, but rather a matter of education and public outreach reach. So when we got started here on the streets of London, I expected people to be pretty much in opposition to spending more money, especially during a time of recession, during difficult economic times for Britain. I felt that people would be, for the most part, opposed to investing in further spaceflight, given the fact that we had a failure in Cornwall not long ago. But instead, what I discovered was instead a very deeply divided public. Many people feel that it's worth making a go of it. Others feel that Britain needs to be spending their money on more important things right now, again, in times of trouble. That being the case, though, there was one particular conversation, as I'm sure you noticed, where people who were properly informed, who knew what was at stake, they had a different view on things. They understood why investing in spaceflight was so important. That being the case then, it's very important that the UK Space Agency, that the British government invest in public outreach because without that, without public support, neither Americans nor British are going to understand why spaceflight needs to be supported and why it matters to the future of humanity. From London, England, stay angry about space.